Hey guys, welcome to the Night of the Week. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie the Solomon Bar Knot. You may be familiar with the Solomon Bar and things like paracord bracelets, and while we're not going to tie a paracord bracelet today, what I do want to show you is a demonstration of the Solomon Bar using this thicker commandal style rope so that you can actually get a better visual of how to tie the knot. Okay, so to tie the Solomon bar knot, you're going to need two sections of cordage. Whether you choose to use paracord or something thicker like this, you're going to need to find the midpoint of both of these pieces of rope, and I will secure this one up at the top so we can use this as our base to tie onto. Then you'll come around with the other piece that's already got a bite at the midpoint, and you're going to lay that across the top of your line. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come around the standing part, or around the base part, you're going to wrap down just like this. So you're going to come over the standing part of the wrapped line. And what we're going to do is essentially create an overhand knot, but the way that it's tied is very important on this Solomon bar. So what you're going to do is pull a little slack here, take the end of your line here, and come up this way. And what we've done, if you look at the back, is really just create an overhand knot, but the way that it's tied in the direction that we're tying is going to lead itself into the pattern that we're going to be creating with the Solomon bar. So the next step is to come across just like so, and then we're going to come down with the right hand side. So I'll be referring to this as a left and a right side. I think that's the simplest way to kind of describe this as I'm talking through it. So the left will come over, the right will come down, the right will come around the back, and back through that gap that's created here. So once you tighten that up, that's the start of the pattern. So then we're going to reverse that. The right will now come over, just like so. The left will come down, around the back, and through. So you can start to recognize the pattern here even more as we're tying it. Now, this will look a lot different if you're using thinner diameter cordage. With the thicker diameter cordage, you'll see the gaps in here uh, with the thinner stuff, like this paracord bracelet, those gaps will get closed up because it's just a thinner diameter cord and it, you won't have the, the large gaps like that. So then, reverse again, left side over, right side down, around the back, and through, and tighten, right side over, left side down, around the back, and through the back side and tighten. So now you can see the pattern. You can see that now all it is is a reversal of that pattern. So it's basically just working with the left side or the right side to start with is the over wrap. And you're just creating this pattern all the way down. So once you get the desired length of the pattern that you're tying, the way to finish this off, there's really no, there's really no stylistic way to finish this off. You really just have to trim the back and fuse the rope or the cordage to itself. Same with this area, you would, you would cut this off and then fuse it to itself. So basically taking a lighter and fusing it. I'm not gonna do that with this rope, but the other way, I just wanted to mention when you're tying a paracord bracelet, if you are tying this method, what you'd start with is the, the actual standing part or the looped part. This would all be one line of cordage if you were tying a paracord bracelet and why this is kind of outside of the scope of what we're dealing with with the Solomon bar for this purpose. This is one continuous piece that started with a girth hitch right here. So if you're familiar with that, you can kind of backtrack that to think about, okay, well the girth hitch would go over, this would come down, get wrapped around this side, and then this is where you would start tying the pattern. It's creating kind of one thing and you can see here where this has been fused um, to stop that as well. So that is the Solomon bar knot. Stay tuned for a new Knot of the Week every Tuesday, and if you're enjoying what we're doing here on our Knot of the Week series, please consider joining the Crew Leader membership linked below in the description. Thanks for watching.